Jerry James Stone, and you're watching the first Halloween episode of Cooking Stone. Today, I'm going to go over the basic techniques for carving a pumpkin. So let's get started. To carve a pumpkin, the first thing you need to do is actually cut a hole in it so you can pull out all of the gross pumpkin guts. A lot of people like to do this at the top of the pumpkin, but I actually prefer to do it at the bottom for a few reasons. One, doing it at the bottom, it's a lot easier to place the candle. I don't have to reach down into the pumpkin to put the candle there. I can just pull the pumpkin up, place the candle on the bottom, and set the pumpkin back down. So it's easier for that. I don't burn myself. But secondly, I just like the way it looks. It's an aesthetic thing. So cut out the bottom of the pumpkin and go ahead and just fist that baby and pull all of the pumpkin guts out. And it's really, really gross, but um, we're gonna save the seeds for later. After you do that, I prefer to use a dry erase marker or a washable marker to draw what I'm going to carve into the pumpkin. I don't use a Sharpie because it actually is permanent and so therefore you can't wipe away whatever changes you want to make along the way. So using a, a flexible and serrated blade, slowly cut into the pumpkin. It, do not do this quickly. Um, just slowly cut into the pattern that you drew. And then you're going to go and use that same blade to kind of remove some of the flesh of the pumpkin so more light will shine through. Once you do that, carve the whole pumpkin, and there you have it. You're set.